Hi everyone, I'm back with another mini album. Uh, this one I used using the uh, Prima Almanac paper pad. Um, these charms I purchased from Michaels. I forgot the name of the collection though. But it was uh, this one. I think I got this from Hobby Lobby. This is some trim that I got from Hobby Lobby and uh, some lace. Some metal pieces and a flower and uh, this key and this uh, word charm is also from Walmart. Uh, the paper I embossed. I don't know if you can see it but it's just the paper, a piece of paper that I embossed and then um, there is the back. And this is magnetized but it keeps slipping on and off. And then I put some little charms on the side of it. The same right there. Um, these are some corner uh corner metal dot metal pieces that I put on the edges. You can put a uh, picture here. This is uh some spellbinders dies I pieced two together and then put some rhinestones around the front and you can slip the picture behind there. I think it's labels twenty die. But this one label is 24 and I just took the these two large dies and uh, put one this way and one that way and that's how I got that to uh, to make this design and I did see this on uh, another youtubers page I don't remember her name here's a uh, mat Here I use some more of that uh, lace from Hobby Lobby and open up iron balls. This, this is an embossed piece. Uh, and then this is with a stencil that I made, a brick stencil. And it is magnetized. This, this also came with that collection from uh, Michael's. But this uh, piece, I do not remember the name of that collection. Uh, but it did. Uh, and uh, this is another piece that I embossed. And then this. I just uh, used some gold embossing powder to put on this around that. Another mat. Uh, this is also a spellbinder's die. I don't remember the name of it. I have it somewhere though, but just the matting for a photo. Another matting for a photo, and then this is a little key charm that I got from uh, Michaels. Another mat for photos. And this is another page that I did the same way. And these are also, these are the smaller uh, size pieces right here from the labels 24 die that I put right there. I'm gonna put two pictures, little metal butterfly. Another mat, and this is a rosette piece. And here, it's a pocket page I put right here. You can put pictures behind that. And then there's a metal uh, piece here with some flowers. Another piece, and then there's a metal piece back here. And these uh, are also. Um, Spellbinders uh, dies. Flips down. You can put a picture here, picture here. And here is also another photo mat. And here is a, a, a 
page that I just cut the ends uh, of the dies like uh, the die like this. I just cut them to get the two sides to uh, match up like this. And then this piece also, this heart also came with uh, that collection from Michaels. I matted the, I uh, embossed the pages on this one. You can put photos there. A large photo here. Another mat. And another page. A pocket page that you can put uh, photos in. And here's, uh, I used the Hobby Lobby trim. This is also Hobby Lobby trim right here that I put right there. And uh, here's more room for photos. And that is all. So, uh, little memories. Uh, I think this came from the uh, vintage romance collection from Michaels. And then here's the bag. This is a love charm that also came from Michaels, some Hobby Lobby trim, and then some corner edges. And with this paper, this is the Black and White uh, Recollections cardstock, um, stripe cardstock. And I uh, misted this also with pink. Um, I did it to other items, yeah. The paper, I just, I misted it uh, pink, so it would be pink and black instead of the uh, pink and white color. And that's it. And I did use the uh, Kathy Order Hidden Hinge. And I made my uh, six by six pages. Um, well, they're six and a quarter inch. But I made the uh, pages out of uh, black uh, recollections cardstock. But I used the Hidden Hinge system to uh, for the binding. And that's it. Thank you for watching.